Oh, oh, snap. We are back with another topic. It is good to be back. You know why? Okay, I mean, like, we only say that <laughs> when we come back. Yeah. But see, we're you like, guys. So, my name is Ndombi Toto, and this is my lovely husband, Sipo Toto. <laughs> Sipo Toto. And we basically speak about conversations that makes your fingers snap. snap. So, today, what is the topic for today? What is the topic for today? What is the topic for today? <laughs> topic for today, why are we... Adventist. Adventist. Why mm. are we in this faith? Mm. And yeah. Yeah. That is the topic for today. So, do you start a lot? Yeah, I, I think basically, I think the first point of it is that we are, we are Christians. You know, I yes. think we've, we've chosen to go that route to be, to be Christians. Um, necessarily, it's, I, I, it's not that there's a better faith than the other mm -hmm. but i think we all have our different faith you know mm -hmm. and i think we had an option to choose what faith we're going to be you know obviously individually but by the time we, we came back we had an option to choose you know because in a sense of um we were not born as adventists we're not grew up as adventists we were in other um, faith Faiths. yeah and then at some point some stage we did join this faith but we did join it on different times by the time that we met we were already in the same church Yes. yes. But yes. overall, we're just Christians, just like anyone else. Yes, we are Christians. We are Adventists. The only person who's born as an Adventist is the one who's making noise down there, now. which is Zuri. <laughs> which is Zuri. Uh, mm. Before I became an Adventist, mm. I grew up at the Methodist Church, which is where my parents went to church, and that's where I went to church. And until I think I was a teenager. And then my parents did allow us to choose any other church that you would like to go to. It was not the Adventist church that I did go to, but I went to different types of churches until I was at home and I felt at home. So for me, I was actually born in the um, it's, it's United Reformed Church. It's actually called um, Dutch. Um, so that's where we grew up. Dutch. <laughs> so everyone in the home is, is like, that's who we are. You know, I'm not my dad. Yeah, it's like we are fourth generation from that church, you know. So that's what I go into. I do not think necessarily I will have left the Adventist church. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah. Yeah, because we literally grew up there. Like everyone, like both from my mom's side and from my dad's side. That's just that's just the only faith that is there, you know. And it was just normal, you know. So I don't think Anessa I would have left if my parents did not pass on. Mm. Because I do not think that there was um there was a need to leave. There was not there was not a, a way of saying there's something better out there, you know. Um it just made sense on Sunday you wake Sorry. up go to church with your parents, you know. But I think after they passed on, you know, that's when I Nessa didn't have anyone to encourage me to go to church and that's when I started thinking about other things, you know. So I think if it was not for that, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee myself leaving, you know, because I don't think my father would have allowed that. I, <laughs> like I was raised by those type of parents that if you don't want to go to church on Sunday, it's fine, but you're not going to stay here. Like we are closing our house. You can be out there in the street. And when we come back and we eat lunch, you're not going to eat this type of food. This type <laughs> of food was meant for dinam, people who want to you eat some content. bread, but you're not going to eat the seven color bread, mm -hmm. seven color food, you know. So uh, church was not an option for us at home. It was just normal to go to church, you know. Mm. And I think only, only when my parents passed on, I didn't have anyone to push me or to encourage me. I just did as I pleased. And that's how then I started asking questions about faith. Yeah. Faith. And he comes from a background. Mama, mama, she might like your mother used to. Yeah, like they preach. just preach. Everyone at home was just a I'm the only one who just came out different. <laughs> he can preach for days. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, my father can preach. My mother can preach. And my father can sing. Like my background, Yaplotadam, they can really sing. They come from the Methodists. They come from Ooh, the Methodists can sing. Like yeah, Yeah, So we sing. Like he can sing for days, but I can't sing to save my life. And sing here. Yeah. Like, like I also can't sing. Yeah, your sisters can me. sing. No, they can sing. No, I think I'm the only person who can sing. <laughs> Even my dad could not sing. But everyone else could But I'm see. sure he was better than me. Yeah, I'm sure. Yo, guys, we was. <laughs> I didn't know you can't Like, if we can sing now, you guys will unsubscribe. <laughs> <laughs> they sing a stanza. Never. Yes. Yeah. That's actually better. <laughs> it can be worse. Actually, Tina, guys, we don't sing. We speak. Yo, we bro. Sing. 
<laughs> we sing. But I love music though. Yes, we love music. Love and the weirdest thing is our music. daughter loves music. And we like, mm. girl. I, I hope she's gonna save the family. <laughs> mm. Hope she's gonna save the family. Mm. So, um, when did you join the church? And why? I think it was just because of, of, of friends, you know. Mm -hmm. I think after high school. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to varsity immediately after high school, you know. Um, so I think I just for two years just loitering around, go guys, you know, and and loitering. And, yeah, you just you don't have any direction. To be honest, there was no after high school, and you don't go to varsity, and you don't see yourself going because of the lack of funds. You just loitering. You don't know. You still str finding your purpose in life, you know. So I think it was just meeting new friends who were actually going to that church, you mm -hmm. know. And in a way, like as much as we all grew up. In the same location you grew up, I felt like they were different. Like they had a direction in life, you know. Mm. Um, they were so they were so committed. Committed. They they they, they had something that they were pushing to. They had a goal. They were motivated. Um, as much as we are all going through this, see challenges, but for them they had this sudden hope. You know, um, it was not just they just lottering figured it out. Like no, they had figured life out. You know, they knew what, what they wanted to be in life. They had a direction, you know, and people like they were very attractive because everyone else they were just drinking alcohol, mm -hmm. we were just smoking, we were just looking forward to the weekend. Mm -hmm. And we have this group of guys who are very different to us, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, and it's also guys. Yeah, it's guys, guys, you know, and I mean they play sport, mm -hmm. you know, but the behavior was just so different. Very different, kind people, nice, you know, willing to make friendship, you know. Always and there for each always other. Always there for each other. And you want to be part of that because you can tell with your own friends, we're just, we're just here because we're drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing that we can't even... And for these guys, they were just there for each other, you know. And, you know, um, that's how I actually became friends with them, you know, uh, through sport. And then after that, um, you know, invite to church. And I was not necessarily not knowing church. Yeah, mm -hmm. but... And then going there, it was just different. And, you know, the way they would just sit... Like the aura... The aura they could sit and just speak about the Bible, mm. a conversation like the debates were allowed, questions were allowed, even stupid questions were allowed, you mm. know, and they just had this interest on 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 on. They look they looked at life differently, you know, mm. and when you go there, you actually find that actually we were all coming from broken homes, mm. you know, because when you look at them from the outside, you feel like these guys are perfect, everything mm. is well, but when you come to their space in the church. You look at it you're like we are all coming from broken homes you mm. know it's either you don't have parents or your parents are you know committed into alcohol or you're struggling to have relationship with your parents but when we came here we were just one big family mm. and the parents who and were there the, spoke the same language yeah you know and the parents who were there they were not our parents but man they felt like our parents mm. you know like even during the week you could they could invited to their homes you know mm. they had so much interest in our lives mm. to be better people than even our own family members mm. and once you do that to a child you're bound to win them over you so i think that's how i was i, I was never won over guys seriously by the bible and uh which <laughs> faith is no for me it was just here it's warm here it's come as you are uh, there was no dress code that was mm. specific mm. um there was no behavior that was specific mm. there were no necessarily you know, the one, but even the rules, you just come in and you just be the same. Just come as you are. You know? like, like they, 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 they kept it simple yeah. uh, and they showed Christ-like yeah. uh, behavior and attitude mm. and love. I think it boils down to yeah. love. Yeah, they did not start the conversation. Do you believe in answers or no? Do you, how much do you know the Bible? Do you know that what, do you know that you have been charged? Do you know that mm -hmm. do you know No, they just came together and became a family. And through that, you are the one who starts having those conversations. Mm. And as new as you don't even learn them, you just start imitating them. We are born, them. yeah. We are born, our ends, and then later on, you will ask yourself questions. Well, why, why? Why do they do this? So, yeah, yeah, you know, but you already fall in love with it, you know. And I feel even now, all of us as Christians, not only the Agnes Church, but also other churches, we, we, we mess up how to invite people to churches. Mm. We are so we strict. Complicated. We're we so are strict. Enforcing our, 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 our our, our faith, our views, you know, um, we're not we interested. Dictate, yeah, dictate. yeah, we're not interested in the person's well being. We don't yeah. care who you are. We can't do any. We don't care yeah. exactly, you know. Like yeah. for them, it was like, okay, you're not going to school. Why? How can we? How apply can I help? For, you know. How can what you do you want to be in life? You're like, um, you asking me. Can we buy you clothes? Can we? You know, life is already hard. 
So why on its own? But, you don't need other people to make you feel down that you are drinking or you are smoking or uh, no sex before marriage or mm. you're wearing earrings, all of that. That's a conversation for people on its own. Who, 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 you know, who've already gotten used to the system, but for people who are new, they just want home. And I think that's the just come as you are. Yes. I think that's and embrace the person who they are. Yeah. Even if they have different sexuality. That's what church is about. You yeah. know? So we, I think we will learn yeah. as time goes by. But I think once you start putting rules, I wanna belong, yeah, that's how I joined the church. <laughs> but it was not through like Bible studies or what. It was just be like, I, I feel home at here, I feel welcomed. Mm. I felt more at peace here than in my own home. Yeah. I think um how I joined the church is I prayed for a church. Because I felt like wherever I would go find a church, like I don't fit in or it, it just does. I just felt weird and didn't mm. fit in. But the beauty is that I had parents who were like, wherever you're at, as long as you're a Christian believing in God, mm. we don't care. As long as you're at church. Okay, hold yeah. on. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I think also, you know, we, we're just trying to do this thing. Uh, of speaking about 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 our faith, in, in a way to just say, you know what, we can coexist as people. Yes. You know, just because we are Adventists doesn't mean we can't be Co- friends with Methodists. We can, you know, mm. we can coexist as people. You, know? you were saying. Yes, as I was saying, <laughs> uh, she she wanted me to just to change the TV, but um, I felt like okay, I'm going to pray for a church, and I remember I fasted in what December, guys. I fasted for a church, and then I got a verse in the Bible. Uh, where it spoke about um, when is the Sabbath and stuff. And I knew that wherever church that I'm at, and I remember it was first year in university, it needs to be on a Saturday. And I remember there was a friend who goes to the Seventh-day Adventist church. So I'm just trying this out, guys. Mm. It's not done. So when I got there, um, there was a, what's that class? Your class? Baptismal class and I would go there so there's a lot of Bible study and stuff and I remember saying to people listen here um, please don't rush me I, I, I just want to take it baby steps I just want to see if I'm supposed to be here do I feel at home what does God say and stuff and then I kept going there and I felt at home mm-hmm. people were kind I made amazing friends and they're still my friends till today mm-hmm. but Gwil Yongin I think also as much as I joined the church, it's 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 the love, yeah. it's the support it's I got, and mm-hmm. just because I didn't know less, they didn't make me feel small. Yeah, they were like they. I had a teachable spirit, but they were willing to take me baby steps. It's like if you needed something, people were there for you. If yeah. you had questions, people were there to answer you questions. Mm-hmm. If you wanted a verse, they will tell you a verse, but no one forced you. But ah, uh, like. You must eat this way. Yeah. You must let go of this. It was a community. It, it was a community. It was, it was really nice. And most of the things, um, they never told me I must stop doing them. But I saw mm. that, oh, okay, we don't do this here. We don't swear. We don't do this. Then you start doing better yeah. and stuff. So that is why I joined the church. And I'm still here. The same year I got baptized. And I was very happy with my decision. Even though I didn't invite my family mm. to... <laughs> To when I got baptized, it's because I, I'm not going to pass on this. I was adamant with my choice, but my friends were there. I had an amazing community. Mm. I think that was 2012, 2013. Yeah, and I'm still here. Mm. So, what's another question? Uh, this is a tricky question. Mm. So, uh, would you still like, would you still gotten married to me if I was not an Adventist? Ah, no. (laughs) (laughs) I want to, you you know, I I don't think you would have even known me. Yeah, but even if we had met, I I, I would not not have married you if we are not, if we don't have the same faith, you know? And, 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 you know, you know, let let me just put it this way. So I joined the church, you know? And then as you continue, you start to learn. Mm -hmm. Now you start questioning things like, oh, Mm -hmm. why why are we going to church on this day? Mm Mm-hmm. But others are going to church on that day. You mm-hmm. know, what's the right day to go to church? Yes. You know, not that we're speaking about those things, yeah. But I'm just trying to say, uh, and and it's also about okay, what's with this issue of no sex before marriage? Like, mm-hmm. What are you trying to say about others who are not? Yes. You know? So uh, important things now still have been questioned. You know, mm-hmm. um, the issue that um, who's Jesus? You know, mm-hmm. uh, what. Well, is Jesus white? Big <laughs> topic. <laughs> is Jesus black? Is he Jew, Jew, you know? Jew or yeah. white? Gentile? What's up with ancestors? All those questions now you start to, to learn, you know, read the Bible, have conversation with people, have evidence, you know. So I said, but one of the things I learned 
was that um, if I was to get married, it would be very challenging <laughs> to get to marry someone who is, does not share the same faith as me. Mm. Because a lot of things that we'll be doing, mm. they come on. Yes. Like they will not, just not go together, like. you know. In a sense of one, um, I want to, like, I go to church on Saturday. Mm. And I'm married to someone who goes to church on a Sunday. Yeah. So right there, there's a challenge because I'm going to church on Saturday. I'm leaving my wife mm. at home. What's going to happen to the children, mm. you know? So just that children must choose, but why do children choose, mm. you know? Um, secondly, I believe in giving tithe mm. when they get paid. Mm. You don't believe in giving tithe. And it's our money now because we are married. Mm. It's not your money, my money. When we are married, it's our money. Mm. What's going to be the conversation there? Mm. Some compromise must happen, must happen yes. you know? Before we even get married, I don't believe in no sex before marriage. Mm. I'm no longer doing that. You are actually saying, Don't be terms about sex or something else. You know? I don't. So, immediately now there's a challenge there. Mm. You know? Um, also with having children, you know, like, what are your views having children? What are my views having children? You know? What our views with ancestors? What's your views? With... Now, I kind of felt that if... It even it, it, it even started with marriage. It started with just being dating, just being in a courtship. That like, uh, you spend a lot of time. We're going to argue about a lot of simple stuff that we're yeah. not supposed to argue. And you wouldn't want to yeah, bring it you know. into marriage. And the Bible also asks the question: Can two go together? Are you guys equally yoked? If they do not agree, you know, like I, you know, I'm paraphrasing that text, but without getting too deep onto that, but can two people who do not align? journey together on a road nope. no if you're not equally no, yoked you know so one must compromise yes or if not one must compromise the relationship must just end yes or the relationship must just be toxic yeah you know because be now if, you know, like for example like the things that, that now for me it was like if i if i have to get married let me marry someone who's going to share, share the same faith with me mm. And the basic stuff about faith, we don't argue about. Because, mm. okay. you know, also the thing is that I, I realized earlier in, in, in it, growing up, you know, like, you can't convert someone. Yo, you cannot you can't make up. someone to be what you, you want them you to be. You can't. You cannot change you know, like, someone. That, that thing is wrong. You see that thing with, like, guys, yeah, women love us, you know. And it's true, women do love men. But you can't convert someone. And men someone. love women. Yeah, you know. Men also love women, you know. But I'm saying, most of the time, women love men that they are willing to... Do whatever. Do whatever for the men. But when it comes to the issue of faith, you cannot, you cannot, you're not God. Man. Mm. Even God has given us the freedom of choice. Mm. Like, that's what people don't understand. Like, mm. the reason being, uh, 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 um, like, we're not Christians automatically. Mm. God gave us an, a, uh, choice. A, a choice. He doesn't enforce himself. You can choose. Child. Yeah, you can choose God. You can't choose God. You can mm. not choose God. It's fine. It's your decision. It's your decision. Now, if he can't force him, how can I force someone? You can't make someone fall in love with your faith, you know. For me, I'd rather say, I always say, just go for someone who's already there. Yeah. So we don't argue about the basic stuff. You know, mm-hmm. imagine now having to argue, pay month end, pay pay to contribute tithe. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So going to mind the mind. movies. You're like, hey, yeah, we're going to pay Yeah, um, we need to go to church on Saturday. Now I have to wake up people. I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah. You know, and also the, the danger thing with that thing is sometimes, sometimes church can be, you know, sometimes it can be chaos in church. Someone would be like, oh, this is what you bought me here for. No, stay. I'm cool. Yeah. But for me, it was just, let me just marry someone who aligns with me. Mm-hmm. Even, by the way, in church, we don't all align. Yes. Just because we go to the same church. Just because we... That doesn't mean we have the same equal faith. Okay. We don't align just because we're all the same church. Yeah. Just because we're all Methodists. And we believe in mean, the same things. Yeah. Just yeah. because we're all Methodists. That doesn't mean we are all into Methodists. Hey, now. Hey, now. But we're not speaking about that. I so, think, think... just find someone who's... Yeah. Sharing this, at least the basic stuff. You know, we can be different with clothes. Yeah. You know, we can have di- different conversation about clothes. We can have different clothes conversation about food. But hey, there's certain basic stuff that you can't be yeah. about clothes. Yeah. When, uh, why am I at least? I was about to say that, ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when people ask you a question, but from yeah, 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 <laughs> um, would I have gotten married to you if you were, ad- if you were not Adventist? Mm. No. Why? I'm still. <laughs> Me? I don't care how cute you are whatsoever. Oh, yeah, that's the first time hearing that one. <laughs> but that was your cuteness. That was the reason why I wasn't like then. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. Like it. <laughs> like it. 
um, I would have never. If you do remember, um, even before, there were people who were interested in me who wanted to get married to me, but because of faith, I said no. Like, financially, they were okay. Like, guys, we were right. But because of the faith thing, I said no. Reason why I said no, I knew I wanted to get someone who was an Adventist, who was, like, who believed in the faith. Number one, I think we are aligning. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to argue about my on a Saturday and then when you're like Hi, and, and I'll go tomorrow I'll just watch soccer for the whole day mm -hmm. like for me that is just lonely and my worry is that if we have kids it's going to confuse the kids yeah, mm -hmm. because we're not standing for one thing like a core direction claim, yeah, mm -hmm. and I didn't want that and I also like grew up in a family where they say that if your husband, let's say, is a Methodist, you go to the Methodist. So if you are the head and basically you stay at home, you eventually, mm. I was going to stop going to church and stuff because I feel like you are the one who's supposed to lead us. Mm. So I always, like, I wanted to get married to an Adventist guy who is a good head for my household, who's going to lead our house to Jesus, like, we're going to be equally yoked. We will not like, like Santa Tukuti, for example, if the Tiba are babes, I think we're eating too much meat. And the Bible says we need to stay away from eating too much gluten because it takes, let's say, three days to digest. To digest. And when you're like, hey, hey, hey. like, I didn't want to, like, sit up about the basics, like the basic mm. things. For me, that was just going to get on my nerves and I wasn't going to enjoy that marriage. So, mm. That is the reason why I would, like, if I would have never gotten married to you, yeah. you are non Adventist. And I feel like I don't want to argue about uh, why you're drinking alcohol, what, like those mm. petty things, you know. Yeah. There, are but, mm. there are some things I don't think we should be arguing in marriage. Like, let's deal about, like, other stuff, not the mm. basic stuff. But I always feel like as people, you need to be equally yoked. You can't change someone. You can't pull someone. They need to decide for themselves for Jesus. Mm. But this is where I'm at. I want to do better. I want to do you know, mm. and stuff. Yeah, because, you know, marriage is not like, marriage is not like a friendship. It's not like, like a friendship. Friends, like, I have friends who are not, who are not even sharing the same faith. Mm. It, it, it's fine, because mm. as friends, we can differ. And as friends, you can't go your way. I can't go on, on, mm. on my own way. We'll meet again. Mm. But with someone that you're married with, or someone that you're in a relationship with, that's intimate, you yeah. know. There's no way that I. That's just intimate. You, yeah. You know point. And also, um, it was also getting married to someone who's also got the same views about life. Yes. You know, um, for example, you know, um, there they are views that to say, um, in order must, you know, like <laughs> there are people who believe in that. In like, order must. You get must my point. Always provide. You must always provide. You know. Um, or um, yeah, yeah, you know, or to have a man, he must have this type of a car, this type of a car, this type of a car. You know, mm. such such conversations are important to to mm. have. You know, if you believe that, I feel like you should attract someone to be attracted to someone who actually believes in that as well. Yes, you get my point. So that's that's why I'm saying marriage is different in, in a sense of you know, mm. like we're not speaking about indoor damas or what, but I'm saying such views mm. are important than being with someone who's like. Yeah, I know that much. I'm like, oh, I'm not your mother. I'm not your parent. <laughs> you know, but now we're arguing because now you, you, you could not find someone who shares the same views as you. Yes. You get my point? Now you are compromising, but you won't be happy, you know? So I think marriage is like, we just need to have the same align. Yes, we just in, need in to every, align. In 90% of the things. Yes. We can have, we can watch different series. We can, you can love sport. I don't love sport. That's fine because mm. this is just a temporary. Yes. Mm. But there's a basic thing. Every day things thing. that you can't just, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mm. like that. Mm. That's another. The last question because I feel like it's becoming long. <laughs> yeah, I know we're gonna cut it out. Yeah. It's becoming like the last question. Uh, I know, like a lot of ladies, they like I always want to get married to a guy who's like my father. Mm. Do men also feel like that? I want to get married to a lady who's like my mom. Like, or there are specific traits that you found in me that your mother had? It's yes and, it's yes and no. Mm. You know, for me, I, I believe people are different. Mm -hmm. I believe people are unique, you know. And we are also at different... Now, these are my views. Maybe to other guys, it's different. But for me, it's yes or no, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we are also a different uh, generation mm -hmm. compared to our parents, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, no, not really for me. Not for example, um, 
My mother was a very quiet person. Mm -hmm. She was very quiet, you know, very reserved, you know. And that was fine for her. But I just did not see myself being attracted to someone who was quiet and reserved, you know. So <laughs> think You know, I just no I'm, I, I for me I'm, I was always attracted to to confidence mm. and to what And I, your wife has confidence for days. Ooh. For days. Ah, you know, but for me, I was someone who's confident, you know, someone who's not scared to share her views, mm -hmm. even if it means it's going to make people uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, I, I, I don't like, I, I just don't like being with a person. I feel like, Chairman, what, what is she really thinking? Mm -hmm. You know, like, and I also don't like to be, I don't see myself being with someone who people will think for her. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I believe in freedom too much. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I, I believe in people having their views because people, people you know, so, so as much as I love my mother, and she was the best thing that ever happened in my life, you know, but um, the, the, her being reserved was, 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 was a trait. I was like, I don't think I'm really attracted to that type of a trait, you know, because mm. you can be easily bullied by people if you're mm. quiet, you know, if you're reserved. But obviously there are other people who are quiet, but who can't fight for mm. themselves. But for me, I think we're a different generation to our parents. So to want my mother to other people, ugh, nah, that's not, for me, that's not fair, you know. I just like the person they are different. When I, did you have same different view? Like? Not really, but I wanted an intellectual guy, and I got him. Period. <laughs> Guys, my my husband is so smart. Like he's really smart, and he doesn't know that he is as smart as he is. Jonga, Usman, yeah, Landon. Like even when you're friends, I would always say, I want to hear his opinion. I tell the son I'm going. Well, well, well. Guys, <laughs> share your views about this. Thing. You can share.